Garrett Shaw dies, a young um, Irish composer. Uh, and it's wonderful to see uh, such wonderful music by a young, such a young Irish composer. Has commissioned for Corway O the next uh, section of the concert. It mixes music of Monteverdi and uh, after images uh, written by Garrett. Um, it's very challenging music, it's been challenging for the choir and uh, I heard it earlier on, it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's experimental music, it's, it's uh, new music and it's, it's, this is a world premiere, you're, you can have here, you're here for a world premiere. Uh, so you can read about Garrett in the, uh, in the, in the, in the program. It's not Brian Lennon's first uh, time uh, listening or coming across Monteverdi. In 1986, I was a member of a choir and Martin and Adrienne are here too, we performed in Italy. We uh, became lovers of the music of Monteverdi in the early 80s and we did a tour of the regions that Monteverdi worked and lived and died in and we actually sang Sicchio Vere Morire, the last one here, at his grave in Venice. And uh, just to tell you a little story, in uh, Cremona, one Saturday night, we were playing music outside the, outside the pub. Brian and Flew, myself and Fiddle. And there were kids going up and down the street. It was chaos. And absolute chaos, noisy. And we were told to stop playing because we were too noisy. We didn't know what was going on. And the police came and we were playing away there at the Star of Monster. And the police stood over us, stop. You know, we said every read as we played twice, twice, twice. <laughs> and uh, we, heard, we heard afterwards that the person who complained about us was a guy called Giuseppe Monteverdi. <laughs> so I'm not sure if there was any connection there. Uh, but um, the, uh, the music you're going to hear now is actually challenging music. It's wonderful music. Monteverdi. Uh, came across, it came at a time when music was changing. It was changing from the strict pattern of music making, composition at that before him and after him since. But uh, he, he changed it. There, there were rules and regulations about what chords could be cut, cut with what, but uh, discordance, uh, images and music. And Monteverdi came and threw all the state stuff out the window and he uh, started to compose music of life and emotion and uh, you can hear it very much in his music he talks, he, 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 he was obsessed with love and women <laughs> and uh, he was, because all the music you're going to hear is about uh, uh, love and chasing women around the place uh, it, it is, it's, I'm not making it up and uh, he, he, uh, he, he brought human emotion and love and life into his music and you can hear it in what the choir will sing here. Uh, so they're going to start, and we'll ask you again, the, Brian has asked this, uh, they sing through the whole piece uninterrupted, if you don't mind, because it, it's the imagery of this. Uh, they're going to start with Svogava uh, Kondo uh, Stella. It's, it's about a sick a man, a, a, a lover, lying down, talking to the stars. Where's my wife gone? This woman gone out of my life. And there's an after image of this, uh, that, created again by Garrett. Uh, the second one is On Giro Sol, the Bel Oyoki Lucente. Uh, it's, it's, again, it's a man looking at a woman's bright eyes. On Giro Sol is like the sun and all this. And Garrett again puts another, another light is the piece he puts after this. Again, it's Monteverdi talking about lovers and women and that. Uh, and the next one is a bit different. It's Non Piu Pera is no more war and it's a very powerful you can hear this strong beginning of this non più, non più guerra my Italian isn't great but it's all Italian my modern Italian might be a bit better <laughs> but um, it's followed by a piece called Surrender by Garden you'll hear the contrast and you'll hear the, the build up of, of you'll hear the contrast in, in the two pieces and the similarity as well. And the last one is the one that we sang at his grave. And it was lovely to do that with Martin Levrien, who came here tonight. Um, Sicchio vorrei morire. Uh, it's about dying. But in Monteverdi's time, it, it wasn't really about dying. It was, I want to be with you <laughs> and have that moment with you. That's what, that's what death was. That's what he thought death was. Monteverdi was really the rock star of his time. But he was a, he had this other side of it as well. 
Uh, so in this you'll hear I bachi, I lingua, I boca, your mouth, your tongue, your kisses. So it's all in there and it's followed by a wonderful complex piece of humming by Garrett. And uh, it, I, I won't bore you anymore. Just sit back and listen to it. And just a couple of expressions. I was just listening to BBC4. They had a program on music the other day. These are just cliches. Uh, some people want music to be comfortable and familiar. This is not. It's, it's certainly not familiar. I don't know what you make of it what you want. Uh, but the other expression is that uh, music helps the listener to express their own feelings. So really, the, each piece is what you feel it is for yourself. And see what you make of it. And I want to congratulate the choir and Brian and Garrett for putting this wonderful concert together. Thank you.
Oh, oh, oh.